Shabbat Shalom, everyone. This is Shabbat service for Waymaker Messianic Jewish and Christian Center USA. And we pray that this is a blessing to each and every one of you who are with us. And for those that will listen on the archives much later, this is Saturday, September 25th on the Gregorian calendar. And on the Hebrew calendar, it is Tishri 1957, 82 is the year. Um, this is a this is what we call Sukkot Shabbat um, during the Feast of Tabernacles. This is this is the Shabbat service during during this festival time. Um, so we welcome you and we pray again that this is a blessing for each and every one of you. And this is the day that the Lord has made. We will be glad and rejoice in it. We're going to go over a few announcements. For the upcoming week, we are continuing with our Bible study, which we have been um, going through. The, the version of the Bible that we've been going through is the Messianic Jewish Family Bible, Tree of Life version, the TLB. And in this upcoming week, we are going to be in the book of Ephesians. Um, in the Brit Kadasha, we will be um, actually reading the entire book of Ephesians this coming week. So you're welcome to partake in that. Um, we also continue with Sukkot, Sukkot um, festivities. We will be having separate um, services for Hashanah Hash, Rabbah, getting a tongue right here, and Shemini Atzeret, and of course, Simchat. Torah. So there's specific um, scriptures to be read on each of these days, and we are going to be doing that um, and having a full service um, like we do on Shabbat on Simchat Torah to end the Sukkot festivities, the Feast of Tab Tabernacles. So, um, and today we're going to um, be doing Sukkot Shabbat. Um, also, um, in this upcoming week, we are going to continue to meet live in real time, um, live in real time um, on our free conference call.com channel. So um, the posting um, for that day may come a little bit early, um, just so you know, because of, because of, um, doing um the live and real time meeting so i want to make sure that that gets gets uploaded for everyone so i may actually do um upload um pre upload i should say the shemini atzeret um or i might do both simchat torah and shemini atzeret on the same day i'm not sure how i will do that so heads up on that one <laughs> but we're definitely going to have it available for you but again we meet live in real time on tuesday evenings at 8 p.m eastern standard time and we're pretty much um there in that free conference call channel for probably a good four hours so if you think that you're not going to make it on time. Don't worry. Just pop on in because we're probably there. So even if you pop in at 10 o'clock, we're there. Um, so um, we welcome each and every one of you. You can join by phone, by by website, or by Wi-Fi data. And there's 76 countries that have free access um, by phone. Um, there is that drop down menu. And all of those numbers are indeed free. That was the free list that uh, Free Conference gave to us. Um, what, what you need to do is once you enter, if you're calling internationally, you're outside of the United States, you would find your country and then you would call the international number and wait for the prompt to tell you to add the access code. So the access code is the same for all of us and that's on the, up, on the, on the upper portion of that uh, drop down menu. It will say access code. So you're welcome to join us. And it does work. We've had someone that has popped in from India um, and other countries. So absolutely, you can you you can access it. Um, if you're having trouble accessing um, either um, by phone or by the website, please contact Pastor Nall or myself, and we'd be glad to work with you before Tuesday night. 
Um, I can open the channel up anytime, um, and I have at on you know on other occasions opened it up other than Tuesday. So um, if you just want to practice getting in, you can. You can even do it on your own. The only thing that that will ha will happen is you will get a message that will say the host has not joined yet, and it'll start playing music, and then you know you're there. So. Um, how to get there by uh, website is to follow the instructions. It is okay to download the app or download the, the web portion. You can either do the, the app, I, that's for phone or the web, that's by your computer. Either way works um, and it is safe. Um, I have, uh, we've actually used free conference call.com for college courses so it is it is a very safe um safe platform so and it's really it's really a nice platform we can hold up to a thousand people at one time so uh everyone is welcome so come on in and join us um that is a lot of announcements in one in you know in one little segment here because we've got a lot going on in the upcoming week, um, September has promised to, to be a very, very busy month, and we're it, this this week will bring it to a close. So then we'll be going into um, a new month um, and beginning the Torah all over again in the first Shabbat of October. Um, and again, since it is the first Shabbat of October, we will also be um, having Holy Communion. And then um, not long after that, we will be beginning a new month, the month of Kesvan. And when we begin that month, we also have Holy Communion. So those are two specific times that are available for Holy Communion. And we're going to begin Shabbat service. I'd like to begin with an opening prayer and invite the Holy Spirit in to lead this entire Shabbat service. Avina Malkeno, our Father, our King, we thank you. We thank you for this day. This is the Shabbat during Sukkot, and we thank you for this time. We thank you for Shabbat, and we thank you for Sukkot quote in remembering everything that you have done for our forefathers, how you sheltered them in the wilderness, how you watched over them. You're a magnificent Father. We love you so much. We ask your Holy Spirit to come and guide us, lead us, direct us through this entire Shabbat service. Holy Spirit, use me as a vessel to bring forth whatever message it is that you want to bring to your people. And open the eyes and the ears of our heart that we may be able to see and to hear and to grasp all it is that you wish for us to, to grasp and hold on to and incorporate in our daily lives and our daily walk with you because our daily walk with you and our relationship with you is the most important relationship we could ever have. We love you. You are our creator. You are our father. You are wonderful. You're a good father. I'm a toad. You're a good father. We love you so much. And we ask for your blessing, and we are so honored and humbled to be in your presence. And that's where we long to be, in your presence, Lord, every day, not just Shabbat, not just Sukkot Shabbat, but every single day. We love you, we worship and adore you. You are our Father, our Heavenly Father. We love you. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, Amen and Amen. And in Exodus chapter 20, it says, in starting with verse 8, Remember Yom Shabbat to keep it holy. You are to work six days and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Shabbat to Adonai your God. In it you shall not do any work. Not you, nor your son, your daughter, 
your male servant, your female servant, your cattle, nor the outsider that is within your gates. For in six days Adonai made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Thus Adonai blessed Yom Shabbat and made it holy. And we are at Sukkot Shabbat, and this is a special time, and we're going to say the Sheheki Enu also um, as we go through um, our liturgy and, and what we do during um, Shabbat service. But the Lord's greatest commandment we're going to say now, um, and I'm going to ask you to join in with me, the Lord's greatest commandment which is found in Deuteronomy chapter 6. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Akkad, Baruch Shem Kevod Makudo Leolam Vayad. Hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one, and blessed is the name of his glorious kingdom for all eternity. And you shall love Adonai, your God, with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These words which I am commanding you to today are to be on your heart. You are to teach them diligently to your children and speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. Find them as a sign on your hand. They are to be as frontlets between your eyes and write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. And Yeshua added the second greatest commandment and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The entire Torah and the prophets hang on these two commandments. And the Sheheki Enu, Baruch Adonai Eloheinu, Melech HaOlam, Sheheki Enu, Begimanu, Begianu, Lazman Hazay. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, King of the universe, who granted us life, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this occasion of Sukkot Shabbat. In the Amidah, standing before God, we are going to do three blessings. The first of them are the are about the patriarchs. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, and God of our fathers, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, the great and mighty and awesome God. God most high who bestows loving kindness and creates all who remembers the kindnesses of the fathers and brings a redeemer to their descendants for the sake of his name in love, king, helper, savior, and shield. Blessed are you, Adonai, shield of Abraham. The second blessing is God's might. You are mighty forever, Lord, giving life to the dead. Great is your saving power. He sustains the living with steadfast love and with great compassion gives life to the dead. He upholds the fallen, heals the sick, sets the captives free, and keeps faith with those who sleep in the dust. Who is like you, master of might, and who can compare with those who sleep in the dust? Who is like you, master of might, and who can compare with you, O king, who brings death, restores life, and causes salvation to flourish? You are faithful to revive the dead. Blessed are you, Adonai, who gives life to the dead. And the third blessing is holiness, Kedusha. You are holy and your name is holy, and holy ones praise you every day. Blessed are you, Adonai, the holy God. Amatavu, how lovely, how lovely are your tents, O Jacob, and your dwellings, O Israel. Because of your great loving kindness, I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Adonai, I love the house where you live, the place where your glory dwells. As for me, I will bow in worship. I will kneel before Adonai, my maker. As for me, my prayer to you, Adonai, is for a time of favor, O God, in your great love. Answer me with the truth of your salvation. And as Cain, the tree of life declaration, we say this of the Torah. It is a tree of life to those who grasp it, and happy are those who cling to it. Its ways are ways of pleasantness, and all its paths are shalom. Bring us back to you, Adonai, and we will return. Renew our days as of old, by Yom Hahu in that day, 
And it is said Adonai will then be king over all the earth. In that day, Adonai will be a God and his name a God. May God's great name be magnified and sanctified in the world that he created by his will. And may he establish his kingdom, cause salvation to sprout, and may he bring the Messiah closer in your lifetime and in your days and within the lifetime of the entire house of Israel speedily and soon and say, Amen. May his great name be blessed forever and ever. Blessed and praised, glorified and exalted, extolled and honored, uplifted and lauded, be the name of the Holy One. Blessed be he who is beyond all blessing and song, praise and consolation spoken in the world, and say, Amen. May there be abundant peace from heaven and life upon us and upon all Israel, and say, Amen. May he who makes peace in his heights make peace upon us and upon all Israel, and say, Amen. And the blessing of Messiah, Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu, Melech ha'olam asher nechan, lanu devar hakayim Mashiach Yeshua. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, King of the universe, who has given us the word of life, Messiah, Yeshua. And Messiah's prayer, our Father in heaven, sanctified be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And in the ancient days, the high priest blew on the shofar to bring B'nai Israel together for worship. And we're going to sound the shofar now. And I'm going to pause it now for you to go ahead and listen to some praise and worship music. I cannot incorporate it here because of where I post and um, just to avoid any uh, copyright infringements. Um, when I do post to Facebook, to MeWe, to Gab, to USA.life, I usually like this is this is on the uploaded portion. This is this will be considered the first segment of Shabbat. So I post three songs before I actually upload this. And then we also have a second segment, which is the Brit Kadesh on the altar call and closing of Shabbat service. Um, I will post three songs afterwards and you can use that for the second segment. Or if you have your own um, praise and worship songs that you prefer listening to, this is the time to do that. It is very important that uh, we incorporate praise and worship. Praise and worship is one of the most important parts of any service. Music is so important. Um, and this is the time that we praise our Father in heaven and give him the honor and the glory that he deserves by singing his praises. So I'm going to pause it now for you to do so. We will come back and do the Torah portion of Shabbat service after that. And we are back to now begin the Torah portion. There are three segments this week to the Torah portion, um, actually, that we're going to read. We're going to begin in Exodus um, chapter 33, verses 1 through Exodus 34. Um, chap, uh, verse 35. So we are going to actually read both chapters 33 and 34. Then Adonai said to Moses, leave, get out of this place, you and the people that you have brought out of the land of Egypt into the land, which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob saying, I will give it to your seed. 
I will send an angel before you. I will drive out the Canaanites, the Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Head up into a land flowing with milk and honey, but I will not move within the midst of you so that I do not destroy you along the way, for you are a stiff-necked people. When the people heard these dreadful words, they mourned, and no one put on any ornaments. Adonai said to Moses, Say to Benai Israel, you are a stiff-necked people. If I were going up among you for one moment, I would consume you. Take off your ornaments so that I may consider what to do with you. So Benai Israel stripped themselves of their ornaments from Mount Horeb onward. Now remember, um, this is after the people had sinned um, with the making the golden calf, the whole nine yards. And um, so um, Moses was addressing them through God. Show me your glory. Now Moses used to take the tent and pitch it outside the camp, far off from the camp. And he called it the tent of meeting. So it happened. Everyone who saw Edomai would go out to the tent of meeting, which was outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people would arise and stand, everyone at the door of his own tent, and look after Moses until he had gone into the tent. After Moses entered, the pillar of cloud descended, stood at the door, and he would speak with Moses. When all the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, they all rose up and worshipped every man at the entrance of his own tent. Imagine, imagine seeing that. Um, every time Moses went to the tent to meet with God, they, the people got to see this. Amazing. They were in the presence of Adonai. And they could visually see that by the pillar of cloud. So Adonai spoke with Moses face to face as a man speaks with his friend. And he would return to the camp. But his servants, Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, did not leave the tent. So Moses said to Adonai, You say to me, Bring up this people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found grace in my eyes. Now then I pray, if I have found grace in your eyes, show me your ways, so that I may know you, so that I might find favor in your sight. Consider all that this nation is your people. My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest, he answered. But then he said to him, If your presence does not go with me, don't let us go up from here. For how would it be known that I or your people have found favor in your sight? Isn't it because you go with us that distinguishes us from all the people on the face of the earth? Adonai answered Moses, I will also do what you have said, for you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. Then he said, Please show me your glory. So he said, I will cause all my goodness to pass before you, and call out the name of Adonai before you. I will be gracious toward whom I will be gracious, and I will show mercy on whom I will be merciful. But he also said, You cannot see my face, for no man can see me and live. Then Adonai said, See, a place near me, you will stand on the rock. When my glory passes by, I will put you in a cleft of the rock and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take away my hand, and you will see my back, but my face will not be seen. Adonai said to Moses, Carve for yourself two tablets of stone like the first ones. And I will write upon them the words that were on the first tablets, which you broke. Be ready by morning, by the morning to come up to Mount Sinai and present yourself to me there on the top of the mountain. No one is to come up with you and do not let anyone be seen throughout the entire mountain. Even the flocks and herds must not graze in front of that mountain. So he carved two tablets of stone like the first. Then Moses rose up early in the morning went up on Mount Sinai as Adonai had commanded him, and took in his hand the two tablets of stone. Then Adonai descended in the cloud 
stood with them there as he called on the name of Adonai. Thirteen attributes of God. Then Adonai passed before him and proclaimed, Adonai, Adonai the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger and abundant in loving kindness and truth, showing mercy to a thousand generations, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, yet by no means leaving the guilty unpunished, but bringing the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children to the third and fourth generation. Then Moses quickly bowed his head down to the earth and worshipped. He said, If now I have found grace in your eyes, my Lord, let my Lord please go within our midst, even though this is a stiff-necked people. Pardon our iniquity and our sin and take us for your own inheritance. Exclusive covenant. Then he said, I am cutting a covenant. Before all your people I will do wonders, such as have not been done in all the earth or in any nation. All the people you are among will all the people you are among will see the work of Adonai, for what I am going to do with you will be awesome. Obey and obey what I am commanding you today. Behold, I am going to drive out the Amorites, Canaanites, Hittites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites before you. Watch yourself and make no covenant with the inhabitants of the land where you are going, or they will become a snare among you. Instead, you must break down their altars, smash their pillars, and cut down their Asherah poles, for you are to bow down to no other god, because Adonai is jealous for his name. He is a jealous God. See that you do not make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land. Otherwise, when they prostitute themselves with their gods and sacrifices to their gods, someone will invite you and you will eat from their sacrifice. Do not take their daughters for your sons, for their daughters will prostitute themselves with their own gods and cause your sons to prostitute themselves with their gods. You are not to make for yourself metal gods. You are to keep the feast of matzah for seven days. You are to eat matzah as I commanded you at the same appoint, appointed, uh, I'm sorry, at the time appointed in the month of Aviv. For in the month of Aviv, you came out from Egypt. Every firstborn of the womb is mine. And from all your cattle, you are to sanctify the males, the firstborn of the ox and sheep. A firstborn donkey, you are to redeem with a lamb. But if you do not redeem it, then you are to break its neck. You must redeem all your firstborn sons. No one should appear before me empty-handed. For six days you will work, but on the seventh day you will rest. During plowing time and harvest you must rest. You are to observe the Feast of Shavuot, which is the first fruits of the wheat harvest, as well as the Feast of Ingathering. And we are now in the Feast of Ingathering at the turn of the year. Three times during the year, all your males are to appear before Adonai, Elohim, God of Israel, for I am going to cast out nations before you. Then enlarge your territory so no one will covet your land when you go up to appear before Adonai, your God, three times in the year. You are not to offer the blood of my sacrifice with Hamas. That's H-A-M-E-T-Z, and that's leaven, um, which would be yeast. And that's considered sin. Nor should the sacrifice of the Passover festival remain until morning. You are to bring the choicest fruits of your land to the house of Adonai, your God. You must not boil a kid in his mother's in his mother's milk. Then Adonai said to Moses, "Write these words, for based on these words I have cut a covenant with you and with Israel." So. He stayed, there, he stayed there with Adonai for 40 days and 40 nights, and he did not eat bread or drink water. He wrote on the tablets the words of the covenant, the Ten Words, or what is known as the Ten Commandments. Now, it happened with, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the testimony in his hand, when he came down from the mountain, that Moses did not know that the skin of his face was radiant because God had spoken with him. When Aaron and Albani Israel saw Moses, the skin of his face shone in rays, so they were afraid to come near him. But Moses called out to them, so Aaron and all the rulers of the congregation returned to him. 
And Moses spoke to them. Afterward, all Benai Israel came near, and he gave them all the mitzvah that Adonai had spoken to him in Mount Sinai. When Moses was done speaking with them, he put a veil over his face. But when Moses went before Adonai so that he could speak with them, he took the veil off until he came out. When he came out and spoke to Benai Israel, what he commanded, Benai Israel saw the face of Moses and that the skin of his face glistened. So Moses put the veil back over his face until he went in to speak with him. And that is the first scripture that we're reading. And then we're going to go to Leviticus chapter 26. I mean, I'm sorry, chapter 22, um, verses 26 to 23, verse 44. So we're going to start with 26. Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, When a bull, a sheep, or a goat is born, then it is to remain seven days with its mother, and from the eighth day onward it will be accepted as the gift of an offering made by fire to Adonai. If it is a cow or you, you are not to slaughter it along with its young both in one day. When you offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving to Adonai, you are to present it so that you may be accepted. It is to be eaten on the same day. You are to leave none of it until the morning. I am Adonai. So you are to keep my mitzvah and do them. I am Adonai. You must not profane my holy name, for I will be made holy among Benai Israel. I am Adonai who makes you holy who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Adonai. And we continue here. We're going to read um, actually the entire chapter of 23, which contains the biblical feasts. So it's really, we're going to actually go over all of the, the feasts of God from the beginning, from all seven of them. Then Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Benai Israel and tell them, There are the appointed Moedim of Adonai, and these these are it, um, which you are to proclaim to be holy convocations. My Moedim. This is not man's or man-made um, holidays. These are God's appointed times for all times, for all generations. And they were never to cease. Work may be done for six days, but the seventh day is a Shabbat, a solemn rest, a holy convocation. You are to do no work. It is a Shabbat to Adonai in all your dwellings, the Sach and Feast of Matzah. These are the appointed feasts of Adonai, holy convocations, which you are to proclaim in their appointed season. During the first month of the 14th day of the month, in the evening is Adonai's Passover. On the 15th day of the same month is the Feast of Matzah, to Adonai, for seven days you are to eat matzah. On the first day you are to have a holy convocation, and you should do no regular work. Instead, you are present. You are to present an offering made by fire to Adonai for seven days. On the seventh day is a holy convocation when you are to do no regular work. Bikurim and Shavuot. Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, "Speak to Benai Israel and tell them when you have come." Into the land which I give to you and reap its harvest, then you are to bring the omer of the first fruits of your harvest to the Kohen. He is to wave the omer before Adonai to be accepted for you on the morrow after the Shabbat, the Kohen is to wave it. On the day when you wave the omer, you are to offer a male lamb without blemish, one year old, as a burnt offering to Adonai, the grain offering. With it should be two tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil, an offering made by fire to Adonai for a soothing aroma. Its drink offering with it should be a quarter of a gallon of wine. You are not to eat bread, roasted grain, or fresh grain until this same day, until you have brought the offering of your God. It is a statute forever throughout your generations and all your dwellings. Then you are to count from the morrow after the Shabbat, from the day that you brought the omer of the wave offering, seven complete Shabbatot, until the morrow after the seventh Shabbatot, Shabbat, 
you are to count 50 days and then present a new grain offering to Adonai. You are to bring out of your houses two loaves of bread for a wave offering made of two tenths of an ephah of fine flour. They are to be break, they are to be baked with hummus as first fruits to Adonai. You are to present along with the bread seven one year old lambs without blemish, one young bull, and two rams. They will become a burnt offering to Adonai with their meal offering and their drink offerings. An offering made by fire, a sweet aroma to Adonai. Also, you are to offer one male goat for sin offering and a pair of year old male lambs for a sacrifice of fellowship offering. The Kohen is to wave them with the bread of the first fruits as a wave offering before Adonai with the two lambs. They shall be holy to Adonai for the Kohen. You are to make a proclamation on the same day that there is to be a holy convocation and you should do no regular work. This is a statute forever in all your dwellings throughout your generations. Now when you reap the harvest of your land, you are not to reap to the furthest corners of your field or gather the gleanings of your harvest. Rather, you, to, you are to leave them for the poor and for the outsider. I am Adonai, your God. And the fall festivals, and we are on the final fall festival, um, speaking of to quote the Feast of Tabernacles or the Feast of Ingathering. Um, so we're going to now um, finish this chapter with the fall festivals. And then I spoke to Moses saying, speak to Benai Israel, saying in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you are to have a Shabbat rest, a memorial of blowing shofarot, a holy convocation. You are to do no regular work and you are to present an offering made by fire to Adonai. I don't know, I spoke to Moses saying, however, the 10th day of this seventh month is Yom Kippur, a holy convocation to you. So you are to afflict yourselves. You are to bring an offering made by fire to Adonai. You are not to do any kind of work on that day, on that set day, for it is Yom Kippur to make atonement for you before Adonai, your God. For anyone who does not deny himself on that day must be cut off from his people. Anyone who does, does any kind of work on that day a person I will destroy from among his people. You should not, you should do no kind of work. It is a statute forever throughout your generations and all your dwellings. It is to be a Shabbat of solemn rest for you, and you are to humble your souls on the ninth day of the month, in the evening from evening until evening, you are to keep your Shabbat. And then I spoke to Moses saying, speak to Benai Israel and say, on the 15th day of this seventh month is the feast of Sukkot for seven days to Adonai. On the first day, there is to be a holy convocation. You are to do no laborious work. For seven days, you are to bring an offering by fire to Adonai. The eighth day will be a holy convocation to you, and you are to bring an offering by fire to Adonai. It is a solemn assembly. You should do no laborious work. These are the Moedim of Adonai which you are to proclaim to be holy conv convocations to present an offering by fire to Ananias, a burnt offering, a grain offering, a sacrifice, and drink offerings, each on its own day. Besides those of the Shabbatat of Adonai, besides your gifts, all your vows, and all your free will offerings, which you, you give to Adonai. So on the 15th day of the seventh month, when you have gathered in the fruits of the land, you are to keep the feast of Adonai for seven days. The first day is to be a Shabbat rest, and on the eighth day will also be a Shabbat rest. On the first day, you are to take choice fruit, fruit of tree, trees, branches of palm trees, boughs of leafy trees, and willows of the brook, and rejoice before Adonai your God for seven days. You are to celebrate it as a festival to Adonai for seven days in the year. It is a statute forever. Throughout your generations, you are to celebrate it in the seventh month. And and that means forever. No, we don't do the animal sacrifices, but we do continue the appointed Moedim of God. You are to live in Sukkot for seven days. All the native born in Israel are to live in Sukkot so that your generations may know that I had Benaiah Israel to dwell in Sukkot when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. I am Adonai, your God. 
So Moses declared to Benai Israel the Moedim of Adonai. And that's the second portion. And we're going to pause it here and come back. Um, I didn't realize uh, we had gone into um, 40 minutes of the upload. Um, so we'll come back with the final reading for the Torah and do a quick recap and then do our half Torah portion. <laughs> 